Robocop Rogue City drops today on all platforms for those who did not get the early access edition. And after having played through the game, these are the top 5 things I wish I knew before I played Robocop on my first playthrough. As tempting as it is to focus strictly on the main quests as well as side objectives, this can have a negative effect on your playthrough if you are not careful. The game even though is often advertised by content creators as an open world game, it is not actually the case. The game is semi-linear. And with that, it contains a lot of content that can be very easily missable if you're not careful. So much so that even while I attempted to be very careful to explore all the areas, I would still accidentally leave out things behind that I didn't realize until later on in the run. But at that point, it was too late to go back, so make sure you explore every area and building you enter thoroughly, as you won't be returning there, so you definitely don't want to be leaving behind motherboards or other valuable resources such as chips and even incriminating evidence. One way you can give yourself a little bit of an edge is investing 6 points into deduction as that marks valuable items and data in your map which can without a doubt assist you immensely when it comes to finding important items across each level. And while on the subject of deduction, this was not necessarily a mistake I did on my first playthrough but it is definitely a mistake that I am glad I did not make. I recommend you invest early into deduction as deduction is in my opinion by far the most important skill set to have early on in the game, as two points into it allow you to scan for hidden objects, safe combinations and hidden rooms, six points into it marks valuable items and data into your map, and 10 points into it increase your overall experience gain by 30%. As well as each point you invest into deduction increases the experience gain from notes by 5%, which if I'm not mistaken, gives you a base XP of 100 and each point in deduction will increase that by 5 all the way up to 150 experience, which when you throw in the level 10 ability, that increases your experience gain by 30% more, and you'll be earning 180 XP every time you read a little note. When taking into account that each kill gives you a 10 base XP, all that extra XP increase ends up to adding up to a lot. And by the end of the game, I surely had far more skill points than I would have if I hadn't invested early into deduction. I feel I should also mention that that the early game in Robocop is extremely easy, so you likely won't be having a hard time with your enemies by investing heavily into deduction. Personally, I invested my first 10 skill points straight up into deduction and I must say I do not regret that choice. Now with that in mind, I feel it's important to mention this. Every resource, including experience, is limited in Robocop Rogue City. The only resource that isn't limited in this game is the Auto 9's ammo. Everything else, however, is. The reason for that being that the game doesn't respawn enemies. There is a limited amount of enemies to kill in the game, limited amount of chips for you to get, limited amount of evidence for you to gather. You get the point. Knowing this, you ought to be very careful where you spend your skill points and what you do with your motherboard chips. And it just goes to remind you to be very careful with every area and make sure you clear absolutely everything. Having the thought of, oh, I'll just level up later on if I start struggling. That thought doesn't work out in this game. If you find yourself behind in levels later on in the game, then you're likely to stay behind for the remainder of the game, as farming for experience or chips isn't really something that exists in this game. One thing you can do, however, if you've messed up, is load back locations. Meaning if you get through an area and you're unsatisfied with your performance, or realize you've forgotten something in the previous level, you can load back into it. By opening up the menu and going on to the load tab, you'll come to find that the game actually keeps a save for literally every location you've gone into since the start of the game. So if you feel you've missed out on something, you can go ahead and use this. But of course, by loading, you will load back your character as well, meaning you'll lose any experience or anything you've gathered since the time of the save. It can, however, still be useful for players who only after completing a level come to find that they've actually left behind a side objective and decide they want to go revisit that level. Do be careful however, as this will end up auto-saving on top of any auto-saves you currently already have. And lastly, merge your chips. Chips are essentially tools that can make your Auto 9 dramatically stronger than it already is. And you start picking these up pretty early on into the game, 
They're pretty much Robocop's version of making builds. And even though I know this can be quite obvious as you're going through playing in Robocop, but you actually get a large abundance of chips during your playthrough. So I would recommend merging any low percentage chips and only keeping essentially one of each type in your inventory. This way you can min max your character to keep them as strong as possible without any downside. Just make sure you don't end up merging crucial chips or chips that you don't already have. So you don't end up having to pick up those penalties while building your motherboard. But that'll be it for the top five things I wish I knew before I play Robocop Rogue City. I have been enjoying this game thoroughly and I believe you guys will too if you haven't started yet. This game has been quite a pleasant surprise. So that'll be all for today's video. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.